We'll guide you through how to download and install Iris shaders. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is super useful to be able to do, as shaders can completely change the look of Minecraft. So once we've got Iris shaders, there's lots of different shader packs you can go and add. I'll go and show you one we can go and use. Let's get started. First of all, we want to go and close out of Minecraft like so, or we can go and quit the game. Then what you need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'll use Chrome, but it doesn't really matter. And what you want to do is go and search for Iris shaders like so, and come to the site irisshaders.dev. On the site, you can go and click on download now, and you can click on download universal jar like so. That's essentially the installer. And then what we need to do is go and get some shaders. So for example, I want to go and get complementary shaders. There are lots of different shaders out there you can get though, but these are a really good pack if you want some. Then what we can do is come to Curse Forge, and we can click on Files, scroll down, and we can go and find the latest version, and go over to the right, and click on the three dots, and click on Download File. And they should then shortly begin downloading. So now that they've downloaded, we can go and get installing. But if you want to start playing Minecraft with your friends with a 24 seven server, then go and check out Apex Hosting. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. We can scroll down and go and check out some of their features. As you can see 24 seven servers and support, so you can get help anytime you need it. One click install mod packs and so much more. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the description, which you can go and check out and the pinned comment. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. Now that we've made the necessary downloads, you need to go and open up your file explorer. Come over to the left and select downloads. And then what we can do is select these and just drag them onto our desktop. Now what we need to do is go and install Iris. So go and run the jar file by double clicking on it. If when you run it, nothing happens or something else happens and the installer doesn't launch, this is likely because you don't have Java installed. So go and open up a web browser and you need to head to java.com, click on download Java and you can download the application and go and install it. And then what you need to do is come back to Iris, right click on it, hover over open with, click on choose another app and select Java. Then select always like so and it should go and run. If it doesn't, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which goes and relinks jar and Java files. Once you've got it open, you can go and choose a game version you want to do this for. I'll do it for the latest version. You can then select Iris only. You can do fabric if you want, but we'll just do Iris only. And we can then click install. The process is now going to go and begin and it's complete. So we can close it. And then what you can do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Here we are, it's now launched. So what we can do is go and add in the shader packs. To do that, click on options, video settings, as you can see, they look a bit different. In the top right here, we've got shader packs. Now yours may be empty. I've already got some here because I've gone and used shaders before. So what we can do is go and click on open shader pack folder, and then you can go and drag in the folder we downloaded or the zip file, I should say, like so. I've actually already added these. I'll click replace the file anyway. We can then close this, and then what we can do is go and select the shader pack. Then you can click apply at the bottom. And here we are. As you can see, these shaders look absolutely insane. 